We have been doing a series of uh, studies on the mighty name of Jesus. Today, we're going to talk about a few more things that you and I as believers can do in that name that Jesus taught us and what we can expect if we use that name the way Jesus taught us to use that name. You see, the Lord Jesus taught us uh, to pray in his name. And he taught us to pray directly to the Father in the name of Jesus. When we make a request, we do it in his name. And as we've explained in our earlier messages, when you say in Jesus' name, you are taking his place, you are exercising your power of attorney, and you are in his place, you are representing him, and you're doing what he would do if he were there physically. When we pray in the name of Jesus, we are actually standing in Jesus' place. And our prayers in his name are really prayers that are signed off by Jesus. In other words, it's as good as Jesus making that request. This is the place that you and I can enter into prayer if you really understand what it means to pray in the name of of Jesus. Give thanks and worship in Jesus' name. You know, when we come to offer our praises to God, our worship, our sacrifice to God, first of all, when we do it in the name of Jesus, we are saying we are bringing this on the basis of who Jesus Christ is. We're not bringing our sacrifices on our own basis, on the merit of our righteousness, on the merit of how good we are, but we bring it in His name. And it is His name that gives us access to the very presence of God. In his name, we are offering this sacrifice of praise. Also, I want to just point to an Old Testament example. You see, in the Old Testament, when people came to offer their sacrifices, they brought it, offered it to the priest, and the priest then took it up and offered it before God. In the New Testament, when we bring our sacrifices to God, the Bible says that Jesus stands as the minister of the sanctuary. The next thing you want to look at uh, about the use of the name of Jesus is in Colossians chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Uh, in Colossians 3, 16 and 17, the Apostle Paul teaches us to do all things in the name. Whatever you do, you do it in Jesus' name. It means you're doing it, it, doing it as his representative. You're doing it to reveal Jesus and you're doing it in his name. It brings Jesus in on the scene. Like we said, it brings his power. It brings his wisdom. It brings the presence of the Holy Spirit. All of that comes in. And you say, I'm doing this in Jesus name. The Bible teaches us that when we gather together as believers, we gather together in Jesus name, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you are gathered together along with my spirit, with the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Notice uh, what Paul said here in 1 Corinthians 5 and 4. He says, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, when you are gathered together, that means you believers, when you are gathered together in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and Paul says, you know, I'm present with you in the spirit, spiritually I'm also there. And he says, and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. So what happens when believers gather together in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ? The power of of the Lord Jesus is there. Jesus taught us to receive, he taught us to honor, and he taught us to bless one another in his name. And what Jesus said is this, he said, if you do it in my name, you're really doing it to me because you're honoring them, you're receiving them in my name. Hebrews 6 and verse 10, the Bible says, for God is not unjust to forget your work and your labor of love that you have shown towards his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Say, when you're, when you're serving people, when you're serving God's people, when you're doing it because of His name, you're actually doing it to the Lord. And you are demonstrating this uh, to the Lord Himself because you're doing it in His name and towards His people. So uh, we must keep this in mind that the Bible teaches us that when we honor somebody in the name of Jesus, they may be somebody very, very simple. Like he said, little children. Uh, they may be, of course, you know, somebody who's, uh, who's a minister of God. He may be a preacher, a minister of God. Uh, regardless of uh, whether uh, what their standing is, uh, maybe they're somebody very important. Maybe they're somebody very insignificant. Jesus said, whatever you do, even to the least of these, he said, you do it to me.